Hey guys, Derek again with the Survivalist. Um, going a little bit more over the fire, uh, especially on how to light it, and especially keeping it going. Um, next couple of other things I'm going to be going over is the dryness and the variety. Um, not the dryness of the fire, the variety of fire, but the materials you're going to be using. The biggest thing is the dryness. You want to make sure that your kindling and your fire starters are dry so that way they catch easier and it'll help get the fire going a little bit faster for you another thing is variety which you want to make sure you collect plenty of different sizes um anywhere from say shavings to twigs to branches even some small logs so that way you can actually help keep that fire going uh, make sure it's stay lit, staying lit, and it burns hot enough so that way it's warm and even cook on it. Um, anything that looks like the size of a wire to branches or anything like that, um, some of the stuff can also be considered firewood. Um, those are going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, you know, something like the size of your pinky to the size of your fist. So that way it'll actually help keep that fire going and keep burning so that way you stay warm during the night and possibly burn all night. But you want to make sure you're up and check, constantly checking your fire so that way you're staying warm and making sure that your fire supply doesn't run low or go out on you. Um, other than that, be sure you have a healthy supply. So that way you know you're not going to run out. Um, I actually have more videos posted for you. Hope you guys click like, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys posted.